You know, by all accounts, this shouldn't have happened. There's no way this should exist. But we're here, so let's talk about it. Hey everyone, it's Alexander, the real Mr. Robinson, and this is my review for Toy Story 4, which also happens to be my 1,000th video! Yeah, it only took me six years to reach a thousand videos, but hey, better late than never. Anyway, this is the newest Pixar film and the fourth film in the Toy Story series, no longer making it a trilogy, as it once again follows Woody, Buzz, and the rest of the gang after they were donated to Bonnie by Andy at the end of the third film. So this movie follows all the toys as they're going on a road trip with Bonnie and her family, in addition to a brand new toy that Bonnie made in school called Forky. It's pretty much a spork with two googly eyes glued on, two sticks for feet, and that red fuzzy wire for hands. So Woody, once again voiced by Tom Hanks, tries to help Forky adjust to the life of being a toy, considering that he was made from scratch and not manufactured in China. But anyway, this leads to Forky and Woody getting lost, making their way to a carnival where Woody encounters an old friend from back in the Andy days, Bo Peep, once again played by Annie Potts. So is there anything I need to say about the Toy Story movies that I haven't said on this channel already? They're all perfect films. Each improve the animation, each are funny, have emotional beats, and they're just excellent films all around. I reviewed these three movies back in 2015. Toy Story 3 and 2 are in my top 20 favorite movies of all time, with the first one being my favorite animated movie of all time and in my top 10. So when they announced that they were making a Toy Story 4, the very first thing I said to myself was, NO! Why are you making a fourth Toy Story movie? You had three brilliant movies with a third one ending the trilogy in such a perfect manner. If you're gonna be making a fourth Toy Story movie, you guys better have a very good reason to be making it outside of the money. This movie has to stand toe to toe with the first three in order to warrant its existence. So I just got back from the screening and I will say right now, as a first impression before I get into the rest of the review, Bravo, Pixar. Bravo. I don't know how they did it, but they made a fourth Toy Story movie, one that we really weren't asking for, and made it just as good as the first three. Obviously, this movie has everything that the best Pixar films have. Stellar animation, fantastic music, great characters. I mean, they're all the same characters from the first three movies. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen are once again back to voice Woody and Buzz, and they're as great as ever. And the story for this movie is... More of a personal story for Woody than anything else. I don't want to give away too much, but a lot of this movie just hinges on Woody more than Woody and Buzz. And they manage to give his story a lot of weight. And it just continues to show that this is one of Pixar's best characters. And of course, Tom Hanks does a really good job. Who else does a really good job in this movie is Annie Potts returning as Bo Peep. And to be honest, I had no idea she voiced Bo Peep until a couple months before this movie was coming out. But we haven't seen Bo Peep since Toy Story 2. They mention her in the third one, but we just assume that she was given away. So in this movie, they pretty much fill the gaps between the second and third film. And I really appreciate that Bo Peep has a lot more to do in this one. She became a full-fledged character, whereas in the first two movies, you liked her, but she was kind of there to be Woody's love interest. It didn't really have much of a role beyond that. And Annie Potts does a really good job. It's just great to see these two characters back together again, and they actually build upon their relationship and dynamic. It could lead to some funny moments. It could lead to some heartfelt moments. It's, again, just great to see these two characters back together. We also have a bunch of brand new characters as well, and like with every Toy Story movie, the new characters are just as memorable. And the two characters that really stick out in this movie as being memorable are Forky, voiced by Tony Hale, and I thought he was hilarious. I really did not like Forky the first time I saw that teaser, but watching this movie, just the way Forky's animated, the way he moves, and just the way Tony Hale delivers his lines, and 
how innocent Forky is. It just made me laugh. Obviously, I can see a lot of kids with Forky toys, but at the very least, this character is memorable. He's likable, charming, and he's very innocent. You cannot look at Forky and hate anything about him. And of course, because the internet has claimed 2019 as the year of Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves is great as Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. And he reminds me a lot of Ken, voiced by Michael Keaton from Toy Story 3. Not on the same level, they're two completely different characters, obviously, but there are a lot of moments where Keanu Reeves in this movie just had me laughing. And Duke Kaboom is just a fun character already. So yeah, all the characters, old and new, are great. The animation is still as stellar as ever. But the story is what really works about this movie. I don't want to give too many plot details, but it really plays more like the first Toy Story movie than the second and third one. And I'm sure that the big thing people want to know without spoiling anything is, does this movie make you cry? Because there have been a lot of people who've seen this movie before me that have claimed just that. And again, without spoiling the movie, I will say yes. One of the reasons I was so against this fourth Toy Story movie is because the third one ended on such an emotional level that I didn't think they would ever top it, and I th honestly think they did. I just want to know, what is Pixar's secret formula for making the Toy Story movies so perfect? Th th there's got to be some secret. I mean, I guess it's just the time and care spent into developing these stories and making the Toy Story movies as great as they are because this is Pixar's baby and I'm sure everyone at Pixar would not feel good if one of these movies was bad and I mean I don't know what much I could say about this movie without really going into details about spoilers. I did have some issues with the movie. It won't affect my overall rating but I will say that I was slightly disappointed that some of the other characters just became background. They didn't have anything to do, really. And then the two characters of Bunny and Ducky, voiced by Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key, I think they got annoying at points. When they first popped up, I just felt they were kind of useless. They didn't really add much to the story. They just felt like tagalongs. But after a while, they grew on me. I started laughing at some of their moments. And yeah, they were enjoyable in the end. So if I'm going to wrap things up right now, I will just say that this is my second favorite of the series. It's no longer a trilogy, it's a saga. And I didn't think this fourth movie could even be anywhere as good as the first three, but they managed to pull it off. And just like with the third movie, it left me wrecked. It is just... I think this, more than the third movie, is a perfect ending to this series. I hope they don't make a fifth movie. If they're going to continue anything Toy Story related, please keep it to shorts, keep it on Disney+. Plus. With that new format, they can easily do a lot of short-form Toy Story stuff without having to make a fourth movie. Because where this series ends with this movie is perfect. I said that with the third Toy Story movie, I didn't think they could make an ending to top that, but they did. And for that alone, I will say get off your ass and go see it right now. This is clearly a perfect saga. This movie proves more than anything that Toy Story is Pixar's baby. They treat it with such love and respect that I am amazed that each movie is damn near perfect and rivals some of the very best live action films of the year. And there you go, that's my review for Toy Story 4. Now I want to know what you guys think about the movie. If you've seen it, what did you think? What were your opinions when they announced the Toy Story 4? Were you skeptical? Were you excited? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed this review. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and of course leave a comment. Don't forget to support my Patreon page, follow me on social media, and until next time, this is the real Mr. Robinson telling you there's only one.